Well, have you ever fantasized about taking time off to travel the world? Every day. I, mean, I do too. Yeah. Well, what started as a one-year trip around the world for Shannon O'Donnell turned into five years of travel, wow. staying in each region for months to get to know the culture, volunteering, and taking fun photos in front of iconic global landmarks. And video too. Look there at this. There she is in yeah. front of the Taj Mahal. Wow. She's been to more than 40 countries and counting. Now she was named the 2013 National Geographic Traveler of the Year for her work connecting travelers with social enterprises and initiatives all around the world through her website, grassrootsvolunteering.org, and her book, The Volunteer Traveler's Handbook. Shannon, we are so thrilled and happy because we can't wait to pick your brain. Exactly. We're happy to have you here. Thanks for having me. I'm now, really excited. Now, I think the question on everybody's mind before we get to all the fun stuff is, how in the heck do you afford to do this? <laughs> that was my first question, right. yes. So I'm really grateful. I have online work. I do online marketing for small businesses. Um, most people who travel for a year, and there are a lot of them, save up. Mm -hmm. And they save up a, a chunk of money and travel around the world for three, six months, a year, and do this around the world. On your own? I did it solo, yes. Were you ever in danger? Did you ever find yourself in an odd situation where you thought, oh, this shouldn't be here? Not as not as often as you would think. There were some dicey moments, but often I would meet up with other travelers. I would meet people on the road, and they would invite me to join their group of two or three or couples. I mean, I have friends all over the world because I was solo. Yeah. I went, hey, want to be hey. my friend? <laughs> <laughs> well, besides, you're so shy that I'm sure yes. it was really tough to to, to make friends. <laughs> right. how, did, how did this all get started? How did you get this idea to do this? I was living in Los Angeles at the time, and I found some blogs of other women who had done round-the-world trips, and there was one blog, there were three women, and I went, well, there's three of them, but I can do it solo. I said, I, I've always dreamed of travel, and yeah. I had this online work, and I, said, I think I can make it work, so I, I bought a one-way ticket within a week. Good for you. What wow. are we looking at video of right now? This is Myanmar. This is actually Inlay Lake, uh -huh. and mm. I was in Myanmar about a year and a half ago. And it had just opened up to tourism on Sun Suu Kyi, you know, left. And, and so I went there with my 11-year-old niece at the time. Oh, oh wow. wow. So you, you have had some companions along the way. Yes, absolutely. That first year, I left solo. And then my cousin joined me at points. My best friend, um, Jen, came and joined me in Italy. Mm. And so oh, along the way, people have. And you volunteered along the way as well? Yes. How absolutely. do you find these volunteer jobs or opportunities when you get to these countries? When I first left to travel, I thought I had to you know, arrange it all ahead of time. But uh -huh. now that I spend three and four months in a region, I often go and say, what's there? What mm -hmm. can I, you know, how can I offer my services? And I'll, and I'll ask different organizations if they need help, and if they say no, that's okay. And what kind of services have you offered? What have you been doing? Is that you teaching? This is me teaching monks <laughs> in Nepal English. Oh, my gosh. Oh. That's fantastic. And they ranged in age from five um, to 18. Wow. And so some of them were prepping for university, um, the University of Varanasi, is in India, mm -hmm. and so the Nepali monks go there to further their education, and the young ones are just learning English, so they're very naughty and hard to, <laughs> hard to teach. So there are a lot of uh, uh, countries that you go to, I'm sure, where there's a lot of need, so the volunteering mm -hmm. was, a, was an easy task for you, wasn't it? Absolutely. W where were the neediest of, of people? Tell us a, uh, something about that. So in Th northern Thailand, Burmese refugees come over, and so I worked with women who were prepping their English to get into university, and they had come into Thailand and needed new opportunities, and so that was one of my favorite. I actually, my niece and I worked together. She and I would plan lessons for the Burmese woman we were helping. Oh, and, how great. You know, it's, the need varies. My skill set isn't some that others. I don't build houses. I've, I've done habitat projects, but it's not, you know, like, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Come on, you can handle a hammer. <laughs> so you're going to keep doing this, right? You're not ready to hang up your coat and just stay put in, in the United States. Oh, I can't fathom that. I'm going to Africa in February. Are you, you are. Yes. So, so what is it like when you're just sitting still? You can't, I mean, do you get a little antsy? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I mean, you're seeing things that most of us just, just see on television or read about, and you're experiencing all this. Has there ever been a place where you thought, I don't want to leave this place. It's so magical, and I love it so much. I would like to just stay for a while. Absolutely. That's how I felt in Guatemala. Uh -huh. I went to Gu Guatemala for a few weeks and stayed for several months until I could no longer stay because of the visa situation. Right. You know? The visa situation. Yeah. That, too. I mean, yeah. there's got to be a lot of paperwork involved in this. Just, it, mm -hmm. Is it tough to get into all these different countries? There are a handful.
careful that you have to, you know, research ahead of time. But by and large, when I was traveling that full year, I would get my visa in the country beforehand. Uh -huh. yeah. So when I was going to India, I was in Cambodia and there's an embassy there. Good. I applied, I scheduled a weekend and it was easier than you could imagine. Any you, country you haven't been able to get into that you'd like to see? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. You're, you're a single girl. Yes. Have you found love on the road ever? Oh, you guys ask tough questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just curious. I mean, you're, oh. you're a beautiful single yeah. woman. Oh, thank you. There are incredible people all over the world that I have met. That's a yes. <laughs> She's got a love in different, <laughs> that, different countries. That, that is a that, yes. That's great that you're just doing this and sharing your knowledge with all of us. And, and your volunteer people. work yeah. is to be commended. You're our hero. Oh, thank Definitely. you so much. Seriously. She's written the Volunteers Travelers Handbook. Shannon O'Donnell, thank you again. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me. We'll be right back.